Okay, hello guys. Uh, I'm on a call with one of the customers, and he just opened what to mine website, and he sees that payroll is on pump. Okay, so just from very 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 beginning, uh, how to set up a wallet and how to mine some some currency which is pumped or just on top of the list on what to mine, and uh, here is payroll. Here is ET hash. Yes, you should know the algo of it. So it's the same as Ethereum. It has same algorithm and hash function, and it then it's mined with all the miners which are available for Ethereum. In Hive, there are Claimer, Claimer Dual. He can do ET hash. Then 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 the ETH miner. SG miner, but it's not really good for that, and that's it. So this is the choice of your miners. Flame or dual is the most common one. Okay, like in Google, like Perl uh, mining pool and find some some pool. Perl mining pool net. Okay, here is mining pool for Perl. Uh, usually, you will need to have an address. Perl address, yes. Mine, uh, sorry, let's go to about se help, help section. This is what we need. Actually. Help section, and here what we need to have to look for. Okay, this th string from this string, we will create our template wallet template in HiveOS. First, we need to get an address uh, from what to mine. I clicked on a pearl coin. And uh, I have seen that it's traded on Cryptopia. I am going there, and I already have account here. I search for Pearl. I click on Deposit Pearl, and actually it should me should give me some address. If you see here is a warning. Please do not mind to Cryptopia address. So actually you need to have a uh, little wallet. The stage number one is to create a wallet. Because yes, there are a lot of nodes, and uh, Epoxix has these certifications that don't mind on um, direct to, to, to the chain. Okay. Okay, understand. Continue. Save your private print paper, will save your address. Mm -hmm. So where is my public? Okay, okay. For Pearl, it's a bit something new for me. Uh, so I created on the website some wallet file, then I unlock it, then your address is now I see my public address, okay? Great, your address. Okay, that's what I wanted to have. I go to again to my wallets, I put here in eval, call it curl, and uh, finally getting back to this pool setting, copy paste some pool setting which is not correct for this pool but I will just modify it. First of all I need to copy this the real pool address. Okay with this pool uh, okay you should spot that eval does not contain worker name behind slash or dot or whatever. So in this case, this template template will be only this part. Yes, and uh, I see that the password is X. Okay, Th there are some extra options for config, which are needed to be in Claimer config. Each Claimer setting is from the new line. Okay. Here is another e-worker. This is not really common, but 
I already, I already know that I should just type something like this. Worker, another option for for this template. This part will be replaced with my rig name. Okay. There is a mistake. Okay. Now I can save it and go to my rig and. Uh, Let's apply it to wallet and see if it works. Do you see my screen? Right? Do you see all of my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Connected to this pearl pool. And, and yes, it goes. It's already my Great. So we're pretty much good to go with that. Yes, yes, yes. Just to see what's happening. All you, what, what I always do, I check how the config is generated. So I click on minor config. It should return me the files generated. Yeah. So this is actual config. What's on the disk? So the, here are the, my options. My custom options required by the pool, which I entered in that custom field and here is a pool string the eval value was replaced with my parallel address and the worker name uh, is replaced with my rig name which is worker yes and the pearl is mining here now I get back to this mining pool I click home ok I need to know my my curl address again I enter my address here look up okay and uh, here are my stats they are, are a bit low but they will grow up with time maybe in 10 minutes I will see oh it's already 10 mega hashes and in in 10 minutes I will see my full, full hash rate here Okay, with Perl, then I will go again to my address here, and uh, somehow I will need to transfer money to the exchange if I will want to trade with this Perl currency. Okay? Great. Great. So, pretty much everything is understandable. That's actually what I would want to do with uh, other currencies. Try to find your pool or your currency, your coin in the examples, or at least a similar one. Uh, this pool reminded me of this Ubik pool. It all has also had this option with worker, which is actually not really common with for the pools to have such settings, uh, and uh, it does not have any extra options like Perl, but uh, it, Perl needs it. Okay, I will add the two examples later, but uh, I hope with this video you should be able to create your own wallets at any pool, to at any coin.